Hi, I'm Mark Dias, and welcome. So, I decided to play this and uh, see how it goes. Also, to let you know, I, since this wouldn't be good on stream regardless, I also decided to uh, open up a Patreon. So, you can always stop by and go ahead and be a wonderful patron. There's lots of uh, special prizes for that. Now I also have a Twitter, which I'm going to announce streams or otherwise. Doesn't matter to you, and you're just here to watch Legacy of Kane. well here we go. Uh, it took me about an hour to get all the settings just right, so hopefully this plays smoothly. Fingers crossed. At least the audio. I mean, I, I can get the audio to work correctly. Uh, the screen wasn't too bad, I just changed my plugin, and... The sound hopefully should be fine. Also in the background you may hear my air conditioner because if I don't have it on it's going to be like 110 degrees in here in like 15 minutes. So first thing we want to do, which hopefully it actually works, because I actually had a lot of issues with this. I had pretty much every issue you could possibly have. There we go. Now I had this game, I have it somewhere around here. Um, but I don't think I've ever beaten it. I, I get too bored. It's Diablo-esque, but not esque enough to hold my attention. Long there story. Is a magical operation of maximum importance. The initiation of a new aeon. When it becomes necessary to utter a word, the whole planet must be bathed in blood. Hopefully you can hear this. Also, I'm not a doctor, but that, that might not be a good thing to do. It might not be healthy. Also, this story opening is so esoteric. She might be dead. I at least have some pleasures of the flesh. <laughs> Sorry if you hear that in the background. I'm trying to do things quietly, but there's no muka mute. Muke. Mute on this mic that works correctly. The tavern's closing. Best be on your way, stranger. What? A mug of ale for a weary traveler from distant Corhagen? I can reward you well, for I am of noble blood. I stay open for no man in these dark times. Things come with the night that no sane man would welcome. And so I left. Cold of heart and soul. Forced to the road. And the long, bitter night. Yeah, and you have to write it in your live journal. Okay. There's gonna be random slowdown. There's not too much I can do about it. Um, it has to do with the lighting. Um, whenever there's like that weird 
kind of yellow ambient lighting for some reason it gets slow down I've tried like eight or nine different ways but it's either everything else is screwed up or I get a little slow down during the lighting Assassin! Let's just run away. How about no? Oh no, apple cart in the way. Let's find safety in a house. End it now. The echoeyest Wilhelm scream. And also now my neighbors decide to start mowing their lawn. Annoying. Fay Victus. Suffering to the conquered. Ironic that now I was the one suffering. Not anything as pedestrian as physical pain, rather the cruel jab of impotent anger. The hunger for revenge. And Duke Nukem explosion. I didn't care if I was in heaven or hell. All I wanted was to kill my assassins. Sometimes you get to keep it. The necromancer Mortanius offered me a chance for vengeance, and like a fool, I jumped at his offer without considering the cost. Nothing is free, not even revenge. I was never aware that revenge was ever free. You will have the blood you hunger for. Mmm, blood. Yeah, there will be random texture shapes. I watched the pain of a new existence in a dank womb of darkness and decay. spell enables me to travel to my crypt where the soil of my grave provides me respite. I often resort to this when I am weak and need nourishment. Sure. <coughs> Good. And the laughter actually plays. Yeah. The random him moving slow and going fast, that should hopefully subside shortly. Reputed to have been ripped from the chest of the greatest vampire to have ever existed, Janos Audron, the heart of darkness restores vampiric unlife. Life is precious, Janos discovered, as it was torn, throbbing and bleeding from his own body. Poor Janos. Either way, it's going to get a little more uh, dramatic appeal of me moving slower. Okay. I guess this opens both of them. This ancient vial bears with it a dark gift indeed. For with it, my life force is increased. Time to slurp ya. I don't know why my crypt has chained up ladies. Well, this guy's crypt, I guess I should say. These ancient symbols of power contain raw magical energy that increases my own capacity to summon energy for the spawning of spells. Ooh. <laughs> my cup runneth over. Alright, well, let's go kill some shit. Namely, exploding skeletons. A lot of them. Uh... Truthfully, I don't remember a lot of this game. I mean, I haven't played it in... 15 years, at least. Within the walls of these chambers, I could find respite. 
and if I so chose, resume my journey when my weariness abated. Save. Yeah, let's <laughs> go ahead and overwrite that one. It's basically the same thing. That's my test save. I wanted to make sure that saving actually worked or that it didn't like crash the game instantaneously. So there's that. Now I can't guarantee that I'll be able to actually get through the game if there's issues or bugs or crashes, but I'll try. I'll try to get there as much as possible. See, it's only being in that light and it's only like that yellow red light that they do. The world had changed to my eyes. I had not expected such cruelty from the light. For in the embrace of the sun I could find no comfort, only malice. This would change in time for the worse, along with other things. When rainfall comes, vampires are wise to find shelter from its acidic touch. But apparently not to you. Another save point. I guess this is just back into my crypt some more. No, because there definitely wasn't a bucket of blood. Yeah, see. All slow. <clears throat> also, his sword, uh, much like the one on PS2. There's a lot of issue. Uh, yeah, I don't need your blood, dude. Just die. Uh, a lot of issue with uh, the actual range of the sword. Like, if you hit somebody diagonally, you actually have a wider range than hitting them in front of you. I also like how the grave diggers are nonplussed about exploding skeletons everywhere. Getting longer. Are you not? <laughs> yeah, so if it bleeds, you can kill it. But you can also do it if you just need some extra health. Oh no. Terrible traps. <coughs> However that works. <coughs> also, the screaming skeletons I always thought were really weird. Puzzles. Probably should have had a little slippy slurp on him, but nah. These curious devices hurl bolts of whirling energy and eviscerate my human enemies by stripping ragged flesh from blood-stained bone. Could just say it's an energy disc. But, this game is nothing but that. Okay, you can get some slurps. I shall free you. Ish. Why they had a portrait there. <coughs> I need more spinny blades. 
to eviscerate the flesh of my human enemies. <laughs> yeah, not too much to say about this. Mostly hack and slash. Also, it's weird that they have an action button, but really all it does is slurp people for the most part. I mean, it's not like you can like really hardcore interact with anything. I mean, there are some interactable stuff later, but it's like most of it is just walking into like all the switches thus far. Another save point. Let's continue on. I was debating actually playing this on my system, but A, I have no idea where my PS1 is, uh, B, whether it's actually still working, which I imagine it is, um, unlike my PS2 that has now officially died. Um, or uh, emulating it. It was a tough pick, but ultimately I think emulating is probably the safer bet, even though so far it's been nothing but a headache. But, eh, you take what you can. Hunger and weakness are no bar to vengeance's call. I would find my slayers and send them back whence I came. I guess we're supposed to go around this way. <coughs> Did you stop, like, being burnt? That'd be great. Also, there might be gore. Just like yes, FYI. Smearing faces will forever etched upon my memory. I have crossed death for this moment. My mind was empty, save for one thought. I would kill. There is no greater release than that from vengeance sated. With my assassins dead, my quest was over. Yeah, there's a lot more than, like, whatever, five assassins or whatever. I don't get to hope that. I've got a lot more people to slash my way through. Like, a few scads of villages. <laughs> Probably a castle or two. Tis not over, Cain. These fools were merely the instruments of your murder, not the cause. Look to their masters, look to the pillars, and gain way to the fortress of the mind. You killed yourself. Do, do, do. This was where the bloody deed of my murder took place. Okay. Good, good for it. Well, I guess let's go kill that bartender. Let's fuck that guy. Come here, bitch. <coughs> hey, give me an ale now. Ted, you! You jerk. Slow down bar. I don't appreciate. I do not. How about you people? Raising a family? Not while I'm around. I'm in the bed. Although, Legacy of Kane fanboys, which surprisingly I've known quite a lot, are also ones who eventually became Darksiders fanboys. Which is understandable. I mean, the games are fairly similar.
Although, I mean, Darksiders is much more modern. Much, much more modern. Sleeping in your beds? Good thing you sleep through just about everything. I'm just gonna kill everybody. Because why not? Because reasons, that's why. Oh, is that everybody? Because I'm pretty sure there were some other assassins. Hey, Victor! Exactly, whatever that is. The necromancer had offered me no warning as to what my resurrection would entail. And yet I must confess in my haste I had not sought one. Was his gift a curse? I would seek the pillars for an answer. Okay. That was the place where I had previously been killed. Down fools. Can you please not throw the daggers at me? Can you please not do that? How about you get drank? Get drank upon. Also, I don't know if it's a bug not showing my health drain or I'm literally just destroying them. Because <laughs> I, I just don't uh, There's a lot of things I don't remember. I could probably fill a nice sized library with things I've forgotten. I was gonna take a sip of my drink, but no. Peasants just had to come and try to slice me up. If I saw this dude just like cutting down everybody in the forest in the entire village without taking any real effect, I'd be pretty upset. I definitely wouldn't go and fight him. That's for damn sure. When you pass on that. The pillars of Nosgoth. Even in life, few sights have moved me such as this. I marvel that such beauty should grace our dying world. Sure. No. Kitty, no. You can probably hear the cat in the background. She's been uh, quite talkative recently. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, whatever. I'll drink you. <coughs> Teleportation! There's going to be a lot of story dumps, just like FYI. The Praptor, your madness has shattered our dreams and blinded you. Keep your distance, or I'll send you back to hell, spirit! There is nothing left of me to fear, vampire. I'm only a shadow of my former self, Ari, the balance of the Circle of Nine. Even so, I can provide the answers you seek. I seek only a cure. There is no cure for death, only release. You must destroy the sorcery, the sorcery that is now poisoning Nosgoth. Only then will you realize peace. The Nine of the Protectors of Hope were sworn to use their powers to preserve our world. Now these pillars have been corrupted by a traitor. My murder at the hands of this beast drove my love Napraptor mad. Now he spreads misery and pain among the circle, crumbling the very foundation of Nosgoth. You must restore balance. Nah. You must right the pillars of Nosgoth. 
I care not for the fate of this world. Then for yourself, Cain. Beware the unspoken. Can't argue too hard. I mean, Necromancer brings you back. No, no kitty. Nupraptor, with his blind act of vengeance, threatened to destroy all of Nosgoth. Each Circle member was bonded to the pillar he served. The pillars reflected the mental state of their servants, and as the minds of the Circle degenerated and descended farther into dementia, the pillars crumbled. To restore them, each member of the Circle had to die, and the artifact that served as their link to the pillar had to be returned. Only when all the pillars were restored did Ariel claim my curse would end. And so, my hunt for Nupraptor began. Okay. So I'm looking for Nutraptor. I don't know if this is a good decision or a bad decision. I don't remember how the place is unlocked. These beacons serve as landmarks during my flights in bat form. Once I have committed their locations to memory, I can always return. Bat flight. In bat form, I can travel great distances with ease. From my vantage in the heavens, no region of Nosgoth is forbidden to me. <laughs> Babe Victor! As daylight chases darkness, the vampire's power wanes. Better get inside. Sweet. You guys already have paintings of me? That's pretty awesome. Go you. For being ahead of the game. I don't need a save point. Especially not a save point that's bogged down with an ass ton of slowdown. These skeletons only take one hit. They are annoying. I'm already quite tired of the sound they make. Okay, don't go bust a nuts guy. That help? Help me, kind sir. No, I'm not a kind sir, and stop asking. While it is true that natural light weakens a vampire, magical light can have many uses indeed. Wish I could destroy those things. I hate indestructible enemies in games. Like, I understand, like, certain obstacles, but... <clears throat> oh my god. So many kind sirs. Thought something else happened to that skeleton. <clears throat> well, that's one less. I took a hit. Nah, I don't appreciate that. No. Let's get out of here. It's boring. Not enough things to kill. Why are all these people tied up? There's questions to be asked. There isn't much of a stable economy if your economy is relied entirely on uh, tied up people. Yeah, you get a slurp. Because reasons. about it. Seriously. 
Oh, please help me, kind sir. Oh. There you go. I helped you. Mission complete. <laughs> Not the world's most exciting combat. I mean, it could be worse. And the one thing I've always appreciated, especially about old PS1 games, in terms of appreciation, it's a strange thing. It's one of those things where when you go to do something like an attack animation, uh, there's like a slow up. Uh, the best interpretation is when you go to do like flips in uh, games like Gex and early PS1 games. There's like this strange lag up right before you do anything. Hopefully you guys can see them. Okay, so there's just like nothing over there. Pointless. It's also just about time to end the episode. So, okay. So what was the point of all that? <coughs> okay, I haven't shot out purple stuff. I guess he takes two hits. So I guess I missed something. But I don't know. I'll figure it out. But either way, it's time for this episode to end, so let's go, Kane. It also it, ha it has a thing where you're not really sure what you're supposed to be doing. Which I guess I'm supposed to be getting in there somehow, so there's a way to unlock that door. Magic? I don't have enough magic. No. Can we please leave this screen? Now let's go to the unnecessary pause screen that's long as hell. Yeah. So, yep, we have sword. Forged by the Serioli, oh my God. the legendary weapon masters of Nosgoth, this blade will serve me well in life and beyond. Iron armor. Yep. So anyway, the unnecessarily iron sword. Oh my god. The heart of darkness. So yeah. Play. Please stop. I don't really need the lore. Well, anyway. That's all for this episode of Let's Play Blood Omen Legacy of Cain, Spooky Super Live Journal Emo.